We often need to have four diodes connected together in a circuit like this. You don't really have to draw this in your schematic diagram. You can if you want. I mean, on your notes, I should say. Uh, we'll be going over this a bunch. This is called a bridge rectifier. Although you see in the page in front of you, it's called a rectifier bridge, but most people call it a bridge rectifier. A bridge rectifier is simply four diodes connected in a circuit like this. A bridge rectifier may be made of four individual diodes, or it can be four in, in a one-piece package. The cool thing about a bridge rectifier, and we use these in power supplies exclusively, really, is that you put alternating current into these two leads and you get DC, negative and positive, out the other two leads. Mira. Um, here's a typical bridge rectifier. You see the four legs on the bottom of it. Just back up a little bit, focus it. Um, and, for, and, and you can see here's where the AC power comes in this lead. Here's positive DC out, like that. Uh, here's another one, and you can see the... Uh, something burning? What uh, You can see the... Uh, but something really stinks. You know what it is? Okay, if you, if you look carefully, you can see the positive... See the little positive mark and the little squiggly AC lines? See that? On the top of this bridge? Yeah. Okay, these the little squigglies mean AC, and AC negative and positive. The squiggly means that's where the AC comes in. It's actually called a sine wave. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. Bridge rectifiers can look like that. They can look like this. Here you can clearly see the AC inputs in the middle and, and the negative and positive, like that. So the purpose of that is AC into DC? Correct, changes AC into DC. And, 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 and again, what I'm doing now is introducing you to the parts. We will take a look at the actual circuits uh, tomorrow, actually. We'll start on this. But it's very easy to test the bridge rectifier to see if it's good or bad. Because all you have to do is test it as if it is four individual diodes. To test the bridge rectifier, you're going to check it as if it's four individual diodes. Uh, and again, you're going to use the diode test setting on your meter. Let me check what I believe to be a good one here. And all I'm doing here is I'm checking each... Hang on, you guys. Don't, don't do it. Just watch me for a sec, okay? Just to keep it quiet in here. Uh, what I'm going to do is check each of the four diodes. If anyone's bad, we'll, we'll know it in a hurry. So, start with... You can really start anywhere. It doesn't matter. Start with any lead anywhere across any diode. And I get an open reading in that direction. When I reverse the diodes, so reverse the leads, I get a junction drop. Now in this case, the meter only says 0.462. Uh, I gotta tell you, remember I said it's supposed to be between 0.5 and 0.9, but that's really kind of an arbitrary designation. As long as I get open one direction, which I did, and something like between maybe 0.45 really, and 0.9 was probably more like it, I'm okay. Different meters will read things differently. Remember I said the bigger it is, the lower that'll be? Well, look at the size of that sucker. That's a big bridge rectifier. So that's perfectly okay because when I reverse the leads, I see that open reading. So that one diode is good. This diode happens to be this one, or this one. I really have no way of knowing which it is. Um, so that one's good. Now we'll rotate it 90 degrees and check the next one. Junction drop, 0.46 it says on the meter open. So that one's good. That This one happens to be um, the other one of these ones. So I checked both of those. But I can't tell which it, which it is, really. Um, next one, junction drop, 0.46, open. That one's good. One more to check. Open. Junction drop. So this whole bridge rectifier is good. Now, I believe I have a bad one here, and we'll find out in just uh, a second here if I'm, if I'm correct or not. 
0.56 junction drop. Now it's smaller, isn't it? So that makes sense that it's somewhat higher. And to be quite honest with you, if I get a junction drop one way, I really don't usually bother reversing it because it's going to be open the other way. So that one's good. That diode's good. Whoops. 0 0.001. I'm not faking you out here. Let me just hold it up clearly so you can see that I'm not. That diode is shorted out, isn't it? That one diode is shorted out. Since you can't get in here to repair it, obviously the whole unit's bad. Let's just, out of curiosity, check the other, the other diodes. Open. Junction. That diode's good. Junction drop. Open. That diode's good. So there is one bad one in here. It happens to be, the usually it's the positive going diode. The one that goes from AC to positive. It's that one or that one. I don't know which one it is but it's one of those. And obviously, it's, it's bad. It's dead short. And of course, you could pick that up in circuit, no sweat. This, this meter even beeps at you. It's going bad, bad, bad. Okay, so here's a bad one. Let's, I have one more here that, that, that's probably bad. I believe it to be bad, if I'm not mistook. This is a fairly common failure in power supplies. Not the most common by any means, but um, that's where these bad ones actually came from, switching power supplies. Uh, there's one. I get a junction drop, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Very small, so it makes sense. 0.7. Oh, it's even up to 0.8. Wait, it's freaking out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's really bad, or, or I'm just not getting my meter leads on there. Right, let's try this one here. Open one direction. Open the other direction. No, maybe I'm not. If that ever happens to you, by the way, touch your meter leads together and make sure everything is hunky-dunky. When you're, when you're working on something and nothing you're doing is giving you any voltage readings or any indication of anything, always touch your leads together to make sure that the leads are working and your meter's working. Okay, so let's try this again. Maybe this, this diode's worse than I, than I thought. Junction, 0.54. Reverse your leads, open. That diode's good. See, this one's really giving me some weird readings. Now I got 0.4 on that one. That's really strange. That's pretty darn low. Am I going to open the other direction? I get open reading there. Open reading both ways on that one. One of these diodes is open. I'm getting a, an open reading both ways. The diode's open, which is pretty unusual. Usually they short circuit. That's interesting. I wonder where this one came from. So in this one, one of the diodes is open. That's pretty weird. But it certainly didn't, didn't pass the test. There's no question about that. So um, as, far as, as far as diagnosing bad bridge rectifiers are concerned, it should not be a problem. It's pretty obvious. It, it's very unusual to have a, uh, an open circuit. Almost always they short circuit, like the first one I showed you. Bridge rectifiers have the same ratings as diodes do. After all, they are just diodes inside. They're, excuse me, they're rated by voltage and by current. Same thing. You can always go up in voltage rating. You can always go up in current rating as well. Okay, make sense?